everybody, my name is Michelle and this is my channel Sewing Bunny and my video today is all about um, some makes uh, that I've been uh, sewing up uh, kind of between sort of November and January. So um, I think my last makes video was actually showing my October makes. So I haven't done a makes video actually for a while. Um, and that's just because I think some of my plans and things kind of blended into all the, all the months um, and everything. I know December was quite a busy month for me. So uh, yeah, I just kind of thought I haven't actually shared anything with you uh, for a while. So I thought I would get uh, sharing. And also, um, I have neglected my Instagram account a little bit, so I'm really sorry for anyone who follows me over on Instagram. Um, you may be seeing I'm starting to post up all of my makes, uh, pictures and everything. So uh, yeah, I will try and keep up to date with that a little bit more as well. <laughs> uh, so yeah, before I start uh, sharing what I've uh, been making, um, in case you're wondering, I'm wearing today um, a hoodie, which is the Stella hoodie from Tilly and the Buttons. It's from her book, Stretch. And um, this uh, is a French terry fabric that I picked up from Little Legs Fabric. Um, so yeah, love this hoodie, as you probably already know if you've been watching my channel. <laughs> okay, so I've got a few bits and bobs to share with you. And um, what I'll do is I'll start off with the makes um, sort of in the order <laughs> that, I've been, um, that I've been doing them. So if you followed me on Vlogmas, you may be um, familiar with a couple of these, um, but I will go into a bit more detail. So the first one is I uh, made the Peppermint Magazine Milton Pinafore, and I'll insert a stock image uh, picture of it here so you can see what it looks like. It's a free pattern. All Peppermint Magazine patterns um, on their website are free, and they are amazing. This pinafore, I cannot believe it is free. I mean, the amount of time someone must have spent drafting it and creating it. I mean, the details in it are amazing. You know, it's not just like a t-shirt. Um, it's, you know, quite complicated. Um, so yeah, I just, I thought it was absolutely amazing that it was free. So um, this is my version. I'll show you some of the details um, with it first and then I'll insert some pictures of me wearing it so you can see what it looks like. Um, but this um, I made using a fabric from a So Hayley Jane box, which was um, about a year ago. It was the December 2020 um, So Hayley Jane box that this came in. And um, so I didn't have time to sew anything up for it for Christmas. Uh, so it stayed in the stash for about a year. And then I decided to use it um, to sew up for uh, Christmas Just Been. So it's this lovely tartan, bright red tartan fabric, and it is really soft. It's like a brushed cotton. You probably won't be able to really see on there, but it's actually really, really soft. So oh, it's really comfortable to wear. Now, you will notice that it has quite a plunging V-neck. Oh, let me unhook that a little bit so I can straighten it out a little bit so you might be able to see it a bit better. Oh, that way. There we go. Uh, so yes, it's a very deep plunge. So it is a pinafore where you um, need to wear like a t-shirt or blouse or something underneath it. Unless of course you're very, very brave. Um, but yeah, it's just got this very deep plunging V and then these um, uh, bust sort of straps. Um, so I think possibly if you're maybe sort of bigger busted, it might fit a little bit differently. I find for me it's absolutely perfect. Um, I'm like a sewing pattern sort of B cup um, and I found the coverage bang on for me but you know if you are larger chested you just might need to bear in mind um, obviously the width of these straps um, but they're really really nice straps they've got I'm not sure if you're able to see on here a dart so it does actually give actually the shape over the bust which I think is amazing so it sits beautifully so because I, I must admit I was worried that this bit would be a bit gapy or something or even too tight and I feel like I'm all restricted but actually it is bang on really lovely lovely shape and then the, um, the bodice sort of cuts off here and um, you've got darts obviously that come up here 
for the bust and then you've got the skirt that attaches to the bodice there and you've got quite a, um, a flowy skirt I'm not sure if you'll be able to kind of see that there it's a quite a full-ish skirt and then we do have pockets as well if I can find where they are. there we go it does have pockets there it's quite nice size pockets just um, inseam pockets there um, and so yeah it's really nice always good to have a dress with pockets <laughs> and then if I turn it round at the back you've got straps at the back there and they cross over at the back and they are secured with um, buttons as well so I've got two buttons there now I think in the pattern it does um, have an option where you can put multiple buttonholes so that you can adjust it to however you like um, but I've just popped mine um, there and uh, yeah I just think they look really nice they don't rub or anything like that I mean these buttons are very very flat if you can see there they're very flat buttons and they are quite shiny so they don't feel like they dig in or anything like that so it might just be worth bearing in mind you know you don't want to use anything too chunky otherwise you know when you sit down you might kind of feel the buttons and then also down the back of the skirt oh if I can get it there uh, you'll see that there is buttons going all the way down there as well again in those flat shiny red colour so yeah I will insert the pictures of me actually wearing it so you can actually see how it fits and how it looks I really enjoyed making this um, it did take a little bit of time because as I say it's not just a t-shirt sort of free pattern it has got lots of details in it and um, overall I found the instructions really really good there's just a couple of bits which I found you know maybe I just needed to read over just a couple of times so it'll be things like you know like when you're doing this v section getting it just sort of really bang on and um i just like attaching everything together and i think a little bit of the button placket at the back i just had to read just a couple of times just to make sure i fully understood it but i really really like this and i did wear this um a few times in december i'm not sure if like how often i'd kind of wear it you know kind of not when it's festive <laughs> because yeah it is quite a festive sort of print really um, and I was kind of thinking maybe what I should do is actually make myself like a sort of maybe a lightweight denim version maybe like a chambray or something maybe for more sort of every day um, because it is a lovely lovely pinafore and I do recommend giving it a go um, if you do like the look of the pattern and uh, yeah I'm really really happy with it so yeah that was um, one of my makes that I um, did in um, December and to go along with that you would have seen from my picture I did also make a um, Agnes top a Tilly and the Buttons Agnes top and this is using a lovely black sparkly jersey that I got from Stitchy Bee now I don't know how much this is going to come up but can you see the sparkles in that I'm just kind of like moving it around to kind of see you might probably be able to see it there so you've got all these sparkles that go across and so it just gives it just that little lift from being just a plain black jersey and the sparkles in there you would never know it's got sparkles in it it is so soft this jersey and it's just really nice and subtle like I do find sometimes if you get like those sort of glitter look um, jerseys or the ones with actual bits of glitter in, can be a little bit over the top, you know, I don't like things too sparkly, um, but this I think is really subtle and so I can wear it kind of on like, you know, an evening out or if I just want to look a little bit more glamorous but not being over the top. Um, so yeah, the Agnes, I just did the, sorry it looks a little bit creasy, um, I just did the standard version um, with the full length sleeve and then I finished it off with a little rosy cheeks label there as well <laughs> and um, yeah so I teamed this up with the Milton Pinafore and yeah love those two and this one I can wear obviously all year round no problem because it is just a nice little black sparkly top um, with the Agnes actually um, I think a couple of people have asked me before what size I make of the Agnes because it is quite a close fitting 
um, t-shirt. So I tend to size up. Usually in Tilly patterns, I am bang on a size four and I make a size four in all of her patterns, apart from the Agnes, which I make a size five, just because I like that slightly looser fit. It's still fitted, but I don't find it clingy. I hope that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I do kind of think if you don't like very form fitted t-shirts, if you are going to make the Agnes, I think possibly might want to size up. So uh, maybe do a twelve um, or something if you haven't made it before, just if you want to see what the fit's like. But I find sizing up is bang on for me. So also in December, um, I if you'd seen Vlogmas, um, I tried to attempt to make Stuart, a, um, my husband, a shirt for Christmas and um, it didn't quite go to plan. I got a little bit angry at it, um, put it away in the naughty corner. I know exactly what I need to do with it. It's the easiest thing, and but I got myself all worked up about it. And um, I just kind of went through that stage of I just need something that I know is a quick win. So, or like a palette cleanser. And for me, a palette cleanser is a really fun, cute t-shirt. <laughs> I love making t-shirts. I do love novelty t-shirts. I try not to make too many because I can't wear them all the time. Um, but every now and again, I just love making a really cute novelty t-shirt. And so this really just made me like my, my my spirits were lifted once I'd made it um so I don't know about you guys but yeah if you ever get you know where you have a project that hasn't quite worked out or you're getting really overwhelmed with it or you've made it and finished it and you're not happy with it and you can't adjust it or something maybe in the back of your mind have something like a project that you know is a quick win um and that you know fits you and you know you like um, because yeah, I must admit, I felt really upset that I kind of got myself worked up about not being able to do this shirt. But then when I made this t-shirt, instantly lifted and just felt happy, got straight back into that kind of, you know, motion of sewing again. So, <laughs> uh, this is, uh, a t-shirt that I made. I'm oh, sorry, it's a little bit creasy. I think when I fold up my t-shirts, I think they get a little bit creasy. Um, so this is cats in stockings <laughs> how cute is this fabric this fabric came from moonbow fabrics which is a new to me fabric shop and uh, they have a lots of really fun cute jerseys lots of other fabrics as well i'd probably say it's more mainly aimed for children's sort of sewing i guess but for me you know i love a novelty print and this was just perfect for me and this is uh, the ultimate t-shirts um, by Thread Count Patterns, which unfortunately it's one that you can't just buy from, you know, like a pattern shop. It's one that I got free in a magazine ages ago. Now I think you can pick this up from uh, places like Etsy or eBay, they'll occasionally come up, um, but I love this t-shirt pattern and I have used it quite a lot. Um, I tend to use this scoop neck version. I tend to just do this short sleeve one. I haven't actually done the longer sleeve, um, higher neck one. I just like this version and I've made quite a few. I find the fit is really nice for me. So um, yes, so that's the one I made. I did lengthen the sleeves a little bit. Usually the sleeves come up to, you know, kind of about here, but I decided to lengthen them a little bit to make them sort of half length which you'll probably see from the picture of me wearing it and I also did this contrast neckband just because I thought it would look a little bit nicer than just using the self fabric because uh, you've got these occasional like little black cats or little misty cats um, on there so I just thought it would highlight it out and yes for those of you that know I've got uh, cats I've got a black cat and a ginger cat <laughs> so I've got a little misty cat here and I do also have a little Bentley cat there as well. <laughs> I always like it if I can find cat fabric that has a black cat and a ginger cat. <laughs> um, so yeah, really, really like this one. Also, I did add in a Little Rosy Cheeks label. I do love the Little Rosy Cheeks labels. I think they're really soft 
and really nice like designs and the wording as well it's always such like positive things so this one says be strong be happy be you so i thought that was the perfect label to use for this project really happy i made that <laughs> and then just a couple of items that i don't have with me but i will still share with you is um i had a friend uh, contact me to say that um her little girl she wanted to have like a little uh like a little photo um done to put on her christmas cards and she said that the outfit that she had um bought for her little girl unfortunately didn't fit now i've uh, previously made her um a uh, a dress when uh, she was first born and um i think i i made it in like a kind of a, a 3 to 6 month um, sort of size so she could wear it a bit later on and she actually said that that dress fitted perfectly and she just asked whether you know I would mind making um, you know uh, a Christmas dress for her little girl which I was more than happy to do so my friend paid for the fabric and everything and as her like little Christmas present I just made it up uh, for her and oh, it was so cute I will insert a picture of it here so this little um dress is the um poppy and jazz pansy dress uh poppy and jazz are kind of like a spin-off from so over it if you don't know and that's just um purely like children's wear and the pansy dress is a lovely pattern to use really really nice and um, i also um had a little bit of fabric left over to make a little hat and the little hat in the picture is um, the Patterns for Pirates Teeny Beanie, which is a free sewing pattern. Uh, I think Patterns for Pirates do quite a few, like baby, um, like free sewing patterns. Um, so I did that one. And the one in the picture is the little tie knot um, one, which I just thought was going to be really cute. So, um, yeah, I've sent that off to my friend. She absolutely loved it. And I got one of the um, Christmas cards with her little girl on the front in the little outfit. It was amazing. It, she was so cute. And, uh, yeah, it really made it all worthwhile, kind of like, you know, making it and everything. And, um, yeah, it was really, really nice. And I'm also friends with her mum. And her mum noticed that it was an outfit that I'd made as well. So <laughs> it was lovely. So I really enjoy making things for other people, um, kind of, you know, when it's in that sort of circumstance and everything, you know. Um, I don't like making things for other people when I've got like pressure on myself to do it, like it's a pattern I haven't tried before, or maybe if, you know, it's kind of someone, you know, completely different shape and things. But um, yeah, children's clothes and little bits and bobs like that, I really, I enjoy making those. And then I did actually have the tiniest, tiniest amount of fabric of that left. And um, I had another friend who had just given birth um, in November uh, to a little girl as well. So I had just enough to make a newborn size um, teeny beanie. I didn't have enough to do the little tie knot uh, one, but I had enough to do just the basic little cap. Um, and so I gave that to her as a, a little, um, you know, a welcome into the world baby gift <laughs> um and she really liked that and she sent me a picture of her wearing it um obviously like when they went out for a walk so that was really nice so that was a couple of presents that i made um and then also um i made a couple of bits for my mum because um every sort of christmas birthday things like that my mum loves it if i just make her something really simple like a t-shirt um, you know, I think uh, she, she doesn't really, you know, have a lot of like material things that she likes to buy, you know, and uh, but she loves a T-shirt. And the T-shirt that I always make her is the Sew Over It Molly Top. And that comes from the ebook, uh, which is the City Break ebook. And I've got so much use out of that pattern. The book is just worth it just for the molly top, the amount of molly tops and dresses that I've made. <laughs> and um, so I made a, um, a molly top for her. And I also made her a Sinclair Patterns Harper cardigan, which I've made myself before. And I just kind of thought it'd be nice to team up the T-shirt and the cardigan. So I'll insert a picture of the um, sort of combo that I did. So the molly top 
was from a viscose jersey uh, which I got from Lamazi Fabrics and uh, it was beautiful this lovely blue and coral floral really really lovely and um, I knew that my mum would love those colours because my mum loves blue really really enjoys like wearing blue um, and a little bit of pink and purple as well um, but blue is like her colour <laughs> And um, then to go over that was the Sinclair Patterns Harper cardigan, which um, I made using, oh, it's a beautiful fabric. It was a faux angora fabric that I picked up from Beyond the Pink Door. And it was really soft and it just, it just had like these little flecks making it look like angora, um, even though it was obviously faux angora, but it was just lovely, really soft, lovely to work with. And the colour, oh, it's beautiful this really bright lovely blue and so um yeah I just thought that would make a beautiful combo and then yes yeah, so I gave it to my mum for Christmas and um, I'll insert a picture of the picture she took um well my dad took of her <laughs> wearing um uh the little uh ensemble and uh, with a cup of tea you know I get my tea drink drinking from my mum <laughs> uh, so that was lovely really enjoyed making that for her I always enjoy making things for my mum because I know how much she appreciates uh, things that are handmade because she's also a crafter as well she does like card making and uh, she does a lot of art like you know painting drawing so uh, yeah she knows um, kind of like the effort and things that go into handcrafted things so yeah, that was the presents uh, that I made. Um, I also, uh, slightly um, sl slightly off topic of garment making, but I thought I would share it anyway. I did make um, a couple of cross stitch projects as well. So um, as I mentioned, my friend that had just had um, a recent um, baby girl, um, I made her a little cross stitch uh, picture and um, her little girl's name is Willow, so I uh, put her name into the cross stitch. And um, it's a little bunny um, riding on a little rocking horse. And the reason why I picked that is because, I think I mentioned in, in my Vlogmas video, my friend that had had the baby, um, the whole bunny thing actually came from her. We used to call each other, you know, kind of uh, like honey, which changed one day to bunny, don't know how, but we used to call each other Bunny. Um, and then um, when I started out sewing, one day she kind of said to me, she was like, oh, look at you, you're such a little sewing bunny. And <laughs> and I just kind of thought that would be a perfect name for my channel. So uh, yeah, <laughs> a little bit of backstory there. Um, so yeah, I made that picture for her um, out of uh, cross stitch. And then every year I always, always cross stitch a Christmas card for my mum and dad. So I'll insert a picture of the cross stitch uh, card that I made for them as well. Um, if you, again, if you'd seen my vlog, you would have seen me making that up. I did like a little uh, fast forward thing of me making that up over a few days. Um, so yeah, I made sure that they got that. I usually do a few more cross stitch cards, um, but I just, I, December was just really busy. So I only really got around to making one. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd share those as well. Um, other things to share. I'm very aware that I've been chatting for a long time. I've still got lots of things to share. Um, so it might be a bit of a long video. Um, this uh, dress, I uh, actually started, no, I finished it in November, actually. I should have done this one first, really. Um, but this is, speaking of um, the Sew Over It Molly top that I make my mum all the time. This is the Sew Over It Molly dress. <laughs> And I've actually got two of these to share with you because I, I love this pattern. Really, really like this pattern. So this is the uh, the Molly dress. Now the actual pattern is a full length sleeve. But what I did is I shortened it. Uh, so you'll be able to see it's, again, I'm so sorry, it's really crumpled. I really should have ironed these before I started showing you. Um, it's a grown on sleeve pattern. Can you see here, this is where the seam is? And then this sleeve section is inserted. Now in the pattern, there isn't a cuff. This is a cuff that I just added on myself. So all I did was measure the circumference of the sleeve and then I um, cut a piece of ribbing, which was um, probably about 80%, I would say, of the sleeve. 
so I think I probably took off maybe about half an inch or, or something like that um, for it and uh, yeah it fits really nicely I also did a contrast ribbing uh, here as well uh, I've got a little label here which is hello gorgeous this is a uh, Kylie and the machine label and yes I made the dress version which um, if you can see there and what I did with this is I did actually um, extend the length by two inches just because I kind of wanted to have a slightly longer dress um, for this one um, because I vary kind of I, I go through stages of kind of cutting the standard length or extending it because um, I, I just like both lengths really <laughs> um, and this fabric I'm so happy I used this fabric this was the first fabric that I'd ever purchased from Felicity Fabrics so this is probably what like two years old I think this fabric and it's been one of those ones that's been sitting in my stash and kind of became a little bit of a oh I'm a bit scared to cut into it I love this design it's all these like dandelion heads and they're all cream but they've got these like mustard sort of accents in there it's such a pretty fabric and it's really lovely and soft and um yeah I just kind of thought you know what I love the molly dress what better way to um to use this fabric than the molly dress and I think it was actually the um the reason I bought the fabric was to make the dress so I'll insert some pictures obviously of me wearing the dress um but yeah it's really really nice that one I'm really glad that I made that up and then um molly dress number two <laughs> this one I started making in November Forgot to finish it off in December because I had all the other stuff I was making. So I actually finished it off in January. Now, <laughs> I was away for three weeks in January and I got back on the 21st of January. And um, so I've actually uh, kind of finished off a couple of bits and made two additional bits because I've been away for three weeks and I really missed my sewing machine. I can't even tell you. It was just... <laughs> I was kind of out there and I was like, oh, I just, I really want my sewing machine. It's just <laughs> it's crazy. So as soon as I came back, I was straight on that machine. So I finished off this one, which I'd had cut out um, half sort of sewn up in November. And then I put it to one side and basically just forgot to finish it off. So I finished it off when I got home uh, in January. And this fabric, oh, it is beautiful this again is from Felicity Fabrics that I uh, I bought a while back and it's like an embroidered look jersey so it's not actually embroidered it's all printed but can you see like just those kind of like embroidered print isn't it beautiful absolutely gorgeous this fabric oh it's just beautiful and so again because I love the fabric so much I just thought it has to be a molly dress because I just love that pattern as you all know now <laughs> so this is like the more traditional um sort of one out of the packet so again grown on sleeve you can just see that seam line here and then the sleeve add-on which is the full length sleeve there and this one i made in the standard length so i didn't make it longer because i think it's when i have something a bit shorter sleeve I kind of quite like it being a little bit longer like kind of to my knee um but when it's long sleeve I prefer it a bit shorter I, I don't know I think it's maybe like kind of balancing how much flesh is on show <laughs> or things like that I mean and this one I probably wear with tights as well um just because of all like the beautiful colors and being long sleeved I probably wear some like navy tights or something or gray tights with it um, this one I used the same fabric for the neckband as well and I just love it I love these colours such a beautiful fabric absolutely love it so um, yeah that was my second um, molly dress that I made uh, that I finished off in January similar um, thing to uh, the half making something and then leaving it <laughs> is in November I wanted to make the Deer and Doe dress from the ebook Dressed. Um, and that's a little bit strange saying that, the dress from the ebook Dressed. Um, 
and I cut it all out and everything. I started sewing it up and then I got to a point where you have to insert elastic into the waist. And I just couldn't make up my mind if I liked the elastic look. Um, so I just left it and I didn't finish it off. So in January, I finished it off. And it's this one here. So you might not be able to see too much of the detail on it. It is quite a basic dress, but it's a really nice pattern, really nice fit on this one. So it, it's again a grown on sleeve and then it does have this little cuff piece that just like attaches on at the end just for like a little bit of detail and um, this is what I mean about the waist so this bit is gathered and you see there it's just slightly gathered um, and in the instructions it says to um, put elastic in here so it obviously bunches up a little bit and then you're left with like a nice elasticated waist now I do like an elasticated waist but for some reason when I um, put the elastic in I don't know what it was. I just kind of thought, well, it's not a dress that I'd wear without a belt. Um, so I kind of put the belt on. I don't know, the elastic and the belt just didn't quite sit. It kind of was bunching a little bit. And I, I don't know whether maybe this wasn't bang on my waist or something, but it just didn't feel right. So I decided to just leave it without the elastic, leave it gathered and then wear it with a belt. And it's perfect. So um, yeah, I just thought that would be really, really nice. I was debating putting ties in, but again, I just kind of thought with this pattern, uh, this fabric, it needs a belt, I think just to break it up because it is quite, you know, kind of like one color almost. I mean, I know it's lots of little polka dots, but I just feel like when I'm wearing it, I need something like a belt to break it up. And um, yes, yeah, so I'm really happy that um, I just left the elastic out. And this does have pockets as well. Ooh, there you go, nice pockets, just um, inseam pockets. And then it's quite a long skirt. So I made the midi length, um, which was perfect for me. And um, I did insert another label here, which was um, one of the uh, crafty pinup or what Abby makes um, ones. I know she doesn't sell them anymore, uh, but it says, thanks, I made it. <laughs> uh, so, Yes, really, really like this one. This fabric, by the way, is a Lady McElroy viscose. And, oh, I'm sure quite a few of you have probably used this fabric because it's quite a popular one. It is so buttery soft. Oh, it is beautiful. It's like the softest viscose. It's really, really lovely. And it just gives such a soft and gorgeous drape. I love this fabric. And I picked this up um, again from Felicity Fabrics. I think it's when they had like a 20% off Lady McElroy Fabrics um, thing, which was quite a while ago. And I just thought, oh, I need to snap some of that up because it's beautiful. I love green anyway. And this, oh, it's just beautiful, this fabric. Um, yeah, if you haven't tried it, I really recommend giving it a go because it's lovely, this fabric. It would just be beautiful for like blouses and dresses and things absolutely gorgeous and they do it in a few different colors as well um yeah it's gorgeous right yes so that was that one and uh, yeah really happy that i finished that one off in january all i needed to do on that was literally to finish it off was to um obviously um see if i wanted elastic or not um and take it out and then hem it so that was a really quick win that one and so when I'd finished um, my work in progresses, <laughs> I decided then to um, actually make um, some new bits. And I actually think I made up these two tops, um, I think over a weekend, I think, because I just felt like I needed to make something. And the first one that I made um, was this T-shirt. As I mentioned before, T-shirts, are quick wins for me, palette cleansers. So I'd done my like work in progresses and I thought I need something new and fun. So this pattern is again from the Deer and Doe ebook dressed. This is the t-shirt. And the t-shirt is, uh, you can either do a V-neck or you can do a round neck. I'm not sure if it's necessarily scoop neck or whether it's just kind of crew neck. I, don't, I, I can't remember, um, but I love the V-neck. I love the V-neck shape on me. I just think it's really pretty. 
and um, this fabric I um, bought from Beyond the Pink Door uh, quite a while ago and I love this fabric. This sort of turquoisey colour is re I'm really into at the moment is this turquoisey colour. Um, loads of things I'm buying are this colour. <laughs> I love it. And then with all these bright pops of colour, just gorgeous. So um, this is just a very, very simple t-shirt. You can see there it's a grown on sleeve. So it's a very short sort of little cap sleeve and it's all grown on. And uh, so you don't have to do cuffs or anything. You just literally turn it over. Can you see there? I'm not sure if I'm getting the best angle, but you just literally turn it over. So I overlocked it and then turned it over and then uh, just top stitched it with a zigzag in place. And the V-neck, uh, the instructions are great. You know, no problems with that. The only thing I find with V-necks is I can get it a bit hit and miss getting that V um, and the seam dead straight. So if I show you a little bit closer up, I'm hoping I'll be able to see. Can you see my V is slightly off center? It just goes, goes a little bit skew with there. But do you know what? No one is really going to see that. So it should really be more here. But it just kind of goes off to the side a little bit. But do you know what? It fits in beautifully. It's just that little seam, I think, which no one's going to notice. But I love it. I really like wearing this. And um, when I did share the picture of me wearing it over on Instagram, everyone was like, oh, it shows off your tan really nicely. <laughs> which I think, yeah, it does because of just all the beautiful bright colours. I love this fabric. Use the meter of fabric um, with this and uh, yeah, really, really happy with that one. I do like the Deer and Doe um, ebook dressed and because, because I think I find Deer and Doe patterns are quite good um, as in like their bodice block, I think fits me quite nicely. So very happy with that. And then lastly, um, I decided to make um, a style arc um, t-shirt. I think I'd mentioned in my Make 9 uh, 2022 video that I hadn't been really making much style arc items just because I wasn't sure about obviously the instructions and things, you know, kind of being a little bit more basic. But I bought the um, rear knit top pattern a while back, I think when they had like a sale um, going on and it was a very basic pattern so I thought do you know what let's try and get into style arc um, a little bit more so I decided to make it and this is it oh, isn't this color beautiful I love these colors this is a viscose jersey that I got from uh, Loazi fabrics and it, this has probably been in my stash for over a year because I think I did get it I think um, yeah it probably was December time about a year ago yes so um this is just a very very basic t-shirt it is a uh, sort of like a back wing grown on sleeve um t-shirt so you have just like all of that in one you don't need to insert any sleeve which is a bonus it has um a, a seam at the front and a seam at the back which is top stitched down don't know if you'll be able to see that can you see i've top stitched it down and um, I'm not sure necessarily you would need to. If you wanted to, you could pop it on the fold. But I actually quite like that detail of having the centre seam with the top stitching. I just think it kind of just makes it look quite quite nice, a little bit of detail. And again, on the back, um, there is a seam going down the back, which I've just top stitched down. And you may notice it is one of those where it's slightly higher at the top and lower at the bottom. And again, it was just uh, at the bottom, I just did a little double fold um, and then stitched it with um, a zigzag stitch. As you can see there, the zigzags. And um, I mean, you could twin needle it. I mean, to be honest, I, I think I tried twin needling once or twice and I just didn't get on with it. And um, I don't mind the zigzag kind of look. I quite like that. So, um, yeah, it's just a really nice, easy wearing top. Um, it's very sort of oversized, obviously because of the back wing, so it's quite boxy, but it's really nice with kind of high-waisted jeans and things, so. 
very happy that I made that and uh, yeah I really do want to try making more style art patterns because they have some beautiful designs but I've just always been a bit nervous making them because of the um, the basic instructions but that one no problems at all so very happy with that. So I think that was everything. I'm sorry, it's probably going to be quite a long video because there was quite a lot of items to share, but I hope you enjoyed um, watching. Let me know if you've made any of those patterns or which one was your favourite. I'd love to know. It's always lovely hearing from you in the comments. And uh, yes, please like the video if you did enjoy watching. And if you haven't subscribed already, it would be lovely if you could, because I've had a little bit of a, of a influx of new subscribers. So it's been lovely having everyone here. Okay, well, I will um, catch up with you guys a little bit later and I'll speak to you in my next video. Take care, everybody. <laughs> Bye.